Hey guys, Kev here. And I have two unboxings. One is just a quick pouch. Uh, I bought another garage built gear pouch. I was able to actually uh, get in on a drop. This is the Mighty Pouch. And um, this is the purple Topo one. Unfortunately, no Velcro on it or no loop. That's kind of been, the last couple have no loop, um, but it's whatever. It doesn't really matter. Here you go. Topo, purple with the green inside. Pretty dope. This is going to be my tech pouch in my backpack. So this will be it for probably pouches, hopefully, for a little bit. So I have this one. I got to say, I highly recommend this one. This one's from uh, Alpaca Gear. This is their hub pouch um, with Velcro. The organization I really like on this, it, it's it's very good, guys. Uh, and these are like 35 bucks, I think, 40 bucks. Really good size. I mean, it's literally got the same layout, except it doesn't have this front pocket you won't use, probably. Um, it's got Velcro. They have one without if you want. They have different colors. Really affordable. I mean, the zippers are whatever these are. Um, I don't know. Some people have names for zippers. I just call them all zippers. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I love this pouch. This one sits in my truck. And then I have three garage built gear pouches in my backpack. Well, I have two now. The purple and gold loop. And then I have the Chicago Bulls one. And then I have this one, which I'll fill out with my tech stuff. And then that should be it. It should be all I need. So um, I do wish... They all had the uh, loop because I got patches that I want to put on stuff, but whatever. Um, so that's that. And then the other item is from Urban EDC. So the unboxing knife is going to be the um, Arcona Nettle F. Uh, still loving this. The only thing I noticed is I have a little bit of lock rock. Um, if I push the lock bar over a little bit, it immediately goes away. So I do wonder if maybe maybe I caused the lock rock. Because if you remember in the disassembly, I bent the lock bar over to get more detent. And then I realized that I went too far because then I couldn't flick it. Um, I couldn't get the flick down anymore. So I'm wondering if maybe when I came back, I went too far or I don't know. But the detent is... I mean, as good as it was out of the box, maybe slightly stronger. So I don't really think that's the case, but I gotta take um, I gotta take the blame for you know I messed with it, so that's on me. But I did talk to Brent Backpack B. He has one of these in a different version, and his has it too. I think so. Could just be a model thing. It happens with liner locks occasionally. Uh, but anyway, I may try again to take it apart and just put a little more pressure that way. Uh, because honestly, if I just take my finger and push this slightly like that, gone. So, um, yeah. Or I might just not worry about it, let it break in, and maybe it'll go away. So these are from Urban EDC. As you guys know, um, I have an affiliate a link with them that's going to be in the description so if you want to pick these up or anything else up they're in the description these are a new brand called matzi and i was interested to check these out because um they're kind of a new company i'd never heard of i, ha I had some people telling me you know hey have you seen these they look like vero copies and shit and I just thought I wanted to check them out. I don't think they look that much like a Vero. Um, somebody pointed out they looked more like a uh, Kvist Veritas. But I, I'm the last person to want to get into the looks like this stuff. But they looked interesting. So I wanted to check them out. I've seen that logo somewhere. I swear. Um, is it Ted? Um, what's his name? Ted. Um uh, I forget the name of his stuff. He makes fixed blades. Something Everyday Dad or something like that. Tactical Everyday Dad. It comes with a... Comes with a plastic container with Band-Aids. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm kind of taking a 
a page out of the Finch book, but they went all out with a full thing of Band-Aids. I think you're supposed to be able to just slide. I think you're supposed to just be able to slide out. Like, I don't know. We'll try the other one and see if it's better. Cause this one just kind of popped apart. Yeah, I think you just slide it up and then you take one out like this and then you slide it back in. Sorry. Just broke a Band-Aid dispenser. So we got that one. Let me get that out of the thing. I believe these are OEM by Best Tech. Does the card say anything? It just says thank you on the back and has the designer's name, Masiec Madrajaski. I butchered that. It's uh, Polish, I believe they told me. Polish maker. Uh, it's the Matzi on Instagram if you're interested. So they actually sent me both. I have titanium and I have the DLC. So I just want to get them out. All right. So here we go. Here's the two knives right here. Let me just play with one we are dead centered yeah it really does it does have a very synapse vibe to it I, I gotta give it that i mean it's just and it does have a veritas vibe but those are both into you know different knives so this is just another knife i don't know um the detent is okay um could be stronger obviously i would want it stronger but they have studs so yeah for the studs, it works great. Reverse flicks, good. So, you know, you just gotta give it a little gas on the flipper tab and you're good to go. The uh, flipper tab's a little pokey. It's got a pretty sharp corner there. It's got jimping that doesn't really do anything, um, but it works, I guess. Um, ergos, let me, I got a ring on, so I'm just being careful. Fits, yeah, I mean, it's literally exactly the same ergos, it feels like as a synapse um, but this finger lands here and here yeah it's good um, drop point blade pretty sharp I don't know the steel I'm guessing m390 got your logo up there would have been cool to see a front flipper up here um, nice Sagaha pattern on it okay so this is actually an urban EDC exclusive okay I don't know why I didn't put that together till now got the numbering on the back of the handle it's got the little landing grooves um, it's got the uh, captive pivot area outside relief cut it's got the kind of rear mounted clip that comes down okay let's try this one it's got a little oil on it Needs to work through that coating. Yeah. I like the black. All DLC. This is number 0161. This one's number 0107. So I don't know if that means there's thousands of these. Or if they just put a zero in front of it um so they could have more later i guess i don't i don't know um they work pretty well i mean the detents actually are dialed perfectly for the deployments i gotta say um the design overall i gotta say is not really not really for me feels well made pretty thick pretty thick grind and everything um Got Matsy along the back there. Smaller knife. I mean, three and a three and a quarter inch blade. I'd bet it's probably exactly the same size as a Synapse, since we're comparing those. I wish I had my lefty Synapse here. Um, I'll probably compare it in the review, just because I feel like I have to at this point. It really does remind me of that. Um, I don't think it's a copy or anything, because the Synapse is a bolster lock. This is a frame lock. 
Um, although I think I saw bolster lock versions. Um, I don't know, but there are a lot of similarities. So I, I could understand why somebody would, would, would say it looks like a synapse because it does. Um, do I think it looks enough like one to call it like a copy? I, I don't think so. Cause the synapse doesn't have studs. It has a, a slot on one side. That's a big difference. Um, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta get them next to each other so I can actually compare, but I think it's different. Um, definitely feels like it took, uh, inspiration though. I gotta, you know, at least put that out there. It's inspiration. Um, but yeah, so dims my thoughts instantly out of the box. I can't help what my brain thinks. And that's kind of where it goes right there. Um, stonewash blade on this one. PVD or DLC on this one. Um, it does sort of have a micro finish to the titanium, similar to what I've seen from Best Tech before. Very smooth uh, centered on this one, centered on this one. Detent lash, no detent lash, no detent lash. All those things are good. Good. Yeah, solid. All right, so there we go. There's a couple of Matsy knives from Urban EDC. These are exclusive, so if you're interested in this knife, uh, you can only get it at Urban EDC unless you want a different finish. Um, or I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's Micarta bolster lock ones I saw at Blade HQ. Um, so you can always check there. But uh, for these versions, you want to hit up Urban EDC. They have the Sagaha pattern, which is really cool. So link down below to that, and uh, I'll do a full review uh, coming up. More like an overview coming up on the channel. So I appreciate them sending these my way. Thank you to Urban EC. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. Let me know what you think about that comparison because it's, uh, it's hard for me to get it out of my head now. Um, the Synapse and the uh, Vero... No, the Synapse and the uh, Kvist Veritas. I think it's kind of like a baby of those two, which makes it different, you know? I don't know. Anyway, love you guys. Catch you later. Peace.